Yeah, First of all, uh, Turkey has made it clear that their intention is not to block membership. Uh, and uh, therefore, I'm confident that we will be able to address uh, uh, the concerns that Turkey has uh, expressed uh, um, in a way that uh, doesn't delay uh, the, the, the membership uh, or the accession process. So my intention is still to have a, a quick and swift uh, uh, process uh, where uh, we uh, will then sit down uh, with Finland and Sweden if they apply agree the accession protocol uh, and then um, uh, hope uh, and work for a very speedy uh, ratification process in the 30 parliaments. That will uh, take some time, there's no way to uh, prevent that, uh, but, but, but uh, the plan is to have this and that's still my intention uh, as, as, as a process that uh, goes faster than we have seen uh, before. Um, uh, so um, uh, when uh, an ally raises concerns, uh, we have proven over decades in NATO that we are able to sit down and then find uh, consensus, uh, find a way to agree and then uh, move uh, forward. And that's uh, my intention, that's my plan, and I'm confident that we'll be able to do so also in uh, this uh, case. Because all allies uh, realize the historic magnitude of the moment. Um, and as I said, this is partly about uh, uh, increasing NATO military presence uh, uh, in the region, um, on land, at sea, and in the air, uh, of, close in, of course, in close consultations with Finland and Sweden. We only work closely with Finland and Sweden, for instance, on hybrid threats and cyber threats. Uh, we have a center of excellence uh, on hybrid threats in Helsinki. Uh, so we have already developed very close uh, 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 ways of working together with them to address some of the threats and challenges uh, uh, they uh, are uh, afraid that they will uh, see more of in this interim period. So we will work closely with them to bridge uh, and to provide uh, assurance measures in the interim period.